What up, Crummy B? name is Tom. It's my birth given name. Um, AKA Cali Buzz. My name on New York Minute is Trav Stevenson. Well, pretty much I got the role due to the fact of some situation with somebody that couldn't be in it because I wasn't supposed to be the original character in it. It was supposed to be somebody else. And it just happened that it didn't work out like that. I don't know the full ins and outs of it, but I know, it, so, but I don't remember it because I smoke a lot of this. That's why. So. But I know that I wasn't supposed to be the original character. It just hap so happened that somebody said, yo, maybe I'd be a good fit, and it happened like that. Yeah, this is my first time acting, definitely. Um, the reason I tried it out was because it was for my for my hood, and it was something positive, like for the hood, and I liked it. I, I liked doing it. Once I was once I was doing it, it was something that I had free time, and, I, and once I started doing the movies, start recording, that shit was that shit was dope. I just liked the feeling of doing it. That shit is dope. I just like that shit. Nah, it's not, it, it's, it wouldn't say a process. It was just like the storyline related to a, a little bit to situations in my life. That's all I can say, because I don't want to elaborate too much on that, but certain storylines, not even on my character, just storylines of the whole web series related to my life, and I just, and I thought it was dope. Well, B, I'm a, uh, I'm a union construction worker. I'm a laborer at Local 79. I've been doing that for two years. I'm an apprentice, so I'm trying to I'm trying to become a journeyman. But that's why I, I like doing that because I like working with my hands. It's something that I don't really. It's not like no bossy work. I don't. I can't work in the office. That's why I said. So it's like they tell you to do something. You get the task done. They be like, Yo, get this done by three o'clock. You get it done by three o'clock. You go home. It's no old oh, on your back. Just get the job done. As long as you get it done, you're good. The thing I love most about my character that made me play was the relationship that Trav has with his sisters and how family oriented he is. Like even if you see, like how it was with his uncle, it. He just couldn't believe it. That shit hurt him so much. He had to do such so because it's like he put so much into it. Like it's just crazy. It's just the storyline. That storyline makes you, makes me get in, real into it. It's just dope. Definitely. It is crazy because I see similarities between being the character because me being a funny dude and me being a hood dude. But as far as the generalization of how Trav does his thing, I get that from my my people I grew up around, like my OGs, like my Ellas, shit like that. Like like OGs, I can remember doing shit. Or I hear about stories, doing shit. I just try to mimic it. Like that's what I do. I just take situations to try to mimic it on camera. Like if a nigga did something a certain way and I heard about it, I try to do it like that. So. Cause I know how it's supposed to look. Cause I heard about the story, so I just try to act out. And when people see me, they say, "Oh yeah, you did that shit." So I know I'm doing something right. Um, what I'm thinking and portraying on the camera is right. That's how I feel. It's 
seriously, I would talk bro, the character perspective. Trav perspective is to get money, fuck bitches, take care of his family. If you stop him from getting any one, then he's going full throttle. So if you just let him do whatever he do and let everything go smooth, and he gonna be smooth sailing. Cause that's Travis a good nigga, but he just don't like bullshit. When bullshit come, he wanna take care of it so it's like alleviated. They don't gotta worry about it. They don't gotta keep talking about it. Like, I swear to God, that 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 shit is. That, that's what I think. That shit is dope. Well, I would say LG definitely is a basketball. Because the way he manipulates the seeds is genius. And also, the way that he involves the character inside the web series is just dope. Because a lot of actors, a lot of um, film directors want and want. They don't have to ask for the actor's input. They just write the shit and you do it how they say do it. He asks us if, like, oh, do you think this is how you think this is? Oh, and I, oh, I say, like, nah, I think I should do it like this. And he's like, all right, nah, do it like that. And it's like, no, it's like we it's like we compromising. It's like he letting us be like, cause, and he's agreeing with it if he sees that it makes sense. So I just think that he's dope and he how he lets the actors and actresses in New, oh, New York Minute give feedback and he takes heed to that. That's dope. Wow. It depends. Oh, who about fibble with that thing? If I fibble with Deuce, it's gonna be a funny situation. He had jokes about everything. Like how he acts in the web series, he really acts like that, but times 20. Times 20, because we call him King Lightskin. He's really like, 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 you know how like like a Chris Brown times 12 type dude. Like, yeah, like he's one of them light skinned dudes you never saw before. Yeah, that's my man though. I love him. I love you, man. But don't go get twisted. I fuck with you. Don't get twisted. But <laughs> that be the longest seas. But other than that, it's fun. That shit is fun. It's dope. It's it's authentic. We get I get the vibe with people and meet people I never met before and, and get input on shit and see how I could do different things if I wanna enhance my craft or it's just it's just dope like being around the situation. I like I like I like this shit. Everything I learned in prison helped me become free mentally. I figured I'll do the same thing when I get home. Life is about change. I actually thought leaving the streets and changing my life would be easy, but as you all know, that's not true. My goal as an actor, I would say now, at first it was just fun and I was, but now my, I see that people are really in tune with, with what we're doing because it's such an authentic craft that my goal, I would have to say is to keep the viewers enthused and willing and willing to just know more like 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 just just want them to get a relation with the characters of all the characters just them have the viewers having a relationship with the characters is the dopest part that's my goal to let them have a, I want all the viewers to have a relationship with Trav that's my that's my goal wow i would have to say my favorite episode is the season finale. The reasons being, 
is because I get shot in that. And now, y'all know what's going on. <laughs> so that's the dopest part. Like, I get shot, y'all know what happens. So y'all gotta stay tuned and see what the fuck happens. That's that, that's the dopest part. That's the dopest scene to be. I, that's why I said basketball, LG man. So I'm just thinking about filming. This filming is a motherfucking cold. That shit is tough. And then you gotta worry about the planes going by and shit. It's just certain shit aspects of of the film because of how we do the film. Remember, we don't got no budget, y'all. We just doing this shit for y'all because we love doing this shit. There's no budget in this. We're not getting paid. We're not paid actors. Don't think that we are work. <laughs> All of us have jobs and gigs. I'm telling you. <laughs> so. I just love the fact it's authentic, it's from the bottom. Like, I'm getting it from the mud with these niggas. So whatever happened, that shit is gonna be a hell of an experience because it's been a hell of a ride already. I sure do. My favorite actor of all time is Denzel fucking Washington. I just like his seriousness and the way how he could manipulate a joke into the seriousness of a situation and it still be funny but it's some gangster shit you know he talking for real like like Denzel is one of like like I, I I love him that's one that's one dude I love Denzel that's my favorite actor hands down I ain't even gonna say nobody else Denzel hands down I learned that this shit is fun I'll, I swear, I would do this shit. If I was a paid actor, being that I had this experience with filming New York Minute, I would quit my job for this shit. That's how, that's how fun and, and, and much I take a liking to doing this shit. Like if I find a way I can make a living off doing this shit, I would quit my job and do it. I swear. See, the difference, just the growth of all of us, everybody, actors, actresses, y'all know, I, I, I know y'all, I ain't gonna name all y'all, but everybody's growth, participation, and and willingness to do this shit was so, like, it, it this shit is just mind blowing, cause we not getting paid for this again, y'all, we just doing this shit, because we love to do this shit, and this shit is dope to us. So for y'all, for the fans to like, give us feedback and like this shit, this shit is giving us more inspiration to give y'all more material and feeding people with, this shit is just dope, man. This shit is a dope experience, I'm telling you. The craziest experience, let me see, cause I had a couple, I'll say. Craziest one, I have to say, was when I was working in Bayview Project. I told you I'm in the union, right? So um, we were subcontracting with NYCHA. So we doing the rules and stuff over there. So I'm working with the roofing guys and all that. So so what happened, I'm going, I'm getting off of work. Now the bus, it's a bus. I think, I forgot what bus it is, but it's a bus that stops right there, right where you get off by Bayview, and it takes you to the L train, so, and that shit takes mad long to come, like, it runs every 15, 20 minutes. A dude sees me, and he like, yo, so now my, it's a Friday, we just got paid, all that. I see people hopping in, people, they like, yo, I drive you, they happy, they like, yo, I drive you to the, to the, to the, um, train station and all that. I'm sitting there, I'm like, yo, hold on, hold on, son, hold on. He wanted to take a picture with me. Yo, I'm I'm sitting. It was just like, it was, I was like, damn. Bro, you see, like, I'm trying to go home. Like, you see, he see it. I'm like, I'm like, yo, bro, let me get on the bus. I'll go get one of these dudes' cars so I can get this race. I'm trying to get home, man. I sit there and take a picture. Now, long story short, I, I sat there and took a picture with him. They leave, the bus leave. I wait there, the other buses. Don't come for another 45 minutes, the bus breaks down the next bus. 
I'm reading on the map. I'm got it on my phone. No buzz. <laughs> I was still out there for another hour <laughs> just because I wanted to take a picture. That was a weird. That was the craziest experience. I was tight. I was tired, tight. It was hot. I never forget that shit. My thoughts for season three. That it's gonna be a lot of killing, a lot of dealing, and a lot of more <laughs> shit that happen. Y'all just gotta stay tuned. I don't wanna give too much up. Y'all just gotta stay tuned. I'm telling y'all. Well, y'all can follow me on motherfucking Instagram at Cali Buds, C A L I B U D. It's easy as, you know? Just follow me. I follow back. Stay comments, I comment back. I like the fans. I, I, it doesn't matter. Young, old, women, men, like, I, 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 I give feedback. Just don't say no dumb shit. I got a family, like, I got families. Like, that's all I, that's all I don't want. I got two daughters. I got a fiance and all that, you know? So I just have respect. You already know, it's motherfucking Trav, motherfucking AKA Cali Buzz, New York fucking Minute. Y'all already know, go subscribe to LG TV. Fuck y'all talking about. What up, Crummy B? Crummy B.